you look at locations in the US, there is tremendous variation in local unemployment rates. And uh, you see that uh, metropolitan areas at the fifth or tenth percentile of the distribution of unemployment rates in a given month uh, have very low unemployment rates even in recessions. Even in, in the Great Recession, the best performing places had unemployment rates below 6%, which is similar to the national rate in a normal time. Even in booms, some places have unemployment rates around uh, 8 7 percent, which is an average unemployment rate in a recession. Do we need to have an unemployment insurance that varies across space? Okay, the fact that there are differences across space doesn't mean that this policy should vary across space. And second, if we should have this kind of policy, how exactly it should be designed? When you give more generous benefits, to unemployed workers in high unemployment areas, they have a higher incentive to stay there because the cost of, of staying there is relatively lower. I find that more generous benefits in high unemployment areas, uh, they encourage workers to stay. This shouldn't be very surprising because uh, their income is higher with more generous benefits. Uh, the macroeconomic effects of more generous benefits in high unemployment areas are that unemployment on the aggregate is higher, uh, output on the aggregate is lower. The second policy, the relocation subsidies policy, has opposite effects. It encourages unemployment workers to move to low unemployment areas, so it stimulates people to move to, so to speak, better locations. Uh, they also encourage uh, search behavior. People tend to search for jobs more. And uh, the total amount of search uh, of searchers in CTI is the aggregate search in CTI plus some fraction of the aggregate search in the other city. So with moving subsidies, you see a slightly lower unemployment rate. You see a, a higher mobility rate. The GDP goes up by 0.10% uh, from the benefit extension is that the unemployment rate in the country as a whole goes up, uh, GDP goes down a little bit, welfare goes down a little bit, and then there are more people living in high unemployment areas as opposed to low unemployment areas. You should notice that the results are small, and the reason why they are small is that the moving cost is high on average. The reduction in unemployment that I find uh, would correspond to moving from unemployment to employment around 140,000 people. It's a size of a small city. It's very promising because he identifies an additional channel, uh, which is, is now if you consider space and geography, maybe the planner can reallocate uh, workers. He has, you give the planner an additional tool. In this context, once you take into account uh, geography, unemployment insurance could actually make things worse. You can give incentives for workers to stay in the wrong, quote unquote, uh, wrong market. Thank you.